Hello everybody, thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you're all well and th on this, in this video uh, a particular shout out to those recently and in the past that have visited our website from the YouTube link and made a purchase. It really is appreciated. Uh, it keeps this channel going and it shows that uh, people enjoy watching my videos. They they take in my advice, my no-nonsense way of talking, and they can put up with my Lincolnshire accent. So this is a another look at the Skywatcher Mercury 607 2.4 inch refractor. Now in the last video I, I, I made a comment about the the barrel lens, which is this one, uh, not working with this telescope and I suggested that you know 35 and 70 magnification is plenty anyway and I still stand by that and uh, I was going to say I'll come up with a solution but no I'm not going to take the credit because it was another of our viewers that, that mentioned this on a with another product another Celestron telescope that had the same issue that is that with this barrel lens you put it in like so like you would do normally are we still in Hang on, just one second. Yep, we're still all in view. And because the lens in this barlow, it, it's like halfway up the tube. So there's not enough inward travel. Now, you, you, you can use the barlow without the diagonal and get an upside it, down image. Or you can get another barlow. And that there are some barlows out there that have the lens right at the front here. And what somebody suggested in another video was to change things around a bit. So, taking the diagonal out, putting the barlow in there, one second. Putting the diagonal in the barlow, and then putting the eyepiece in the, in the diagonal. And that's not created too much uh, back movement in the focuser. And now, because the lens is this side of the barlow, there is plenty of room now to get infinity focus. It's not a perfect solution. And you can, you can get away with it because this is quite a short barlow lens, so the telescope still balances very nicely. I know the Celestron three times that you get with the power seeker, that is a much longer barlow, and yeah, that, that could... I don't know. Well, try try it, try it for yourself anyway. Uh, if you've got the Celestron Power Seekers and you want to put their long barlow lens in like that, uh, see it, you know if it works and uh, it, the telescope balances, then that's a solution. The other solution is um, in the testing of these telescopes before they go to market. Not just this one. Uh, one of the Leven Hook or Leven Hook ones had the same issue, and the Celestron Power Seeker eighty. Why don't they just test all of this? before putting them on the market but uh, anyway I, I yeah, maybe maybe there's a job for me or a job for any of you guys suggest it um, so yeah it, it is it is a sort of working solution that gets around this issue and you, you can use this Barlow with this telescope I, I looked up online and I, 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 there didn't seem to be many people commenting on how you have to use this Barlow configuration to make it work so maybe they figured it out themselves. Maybe they've realised that 140 magnification is a bit too much for this telescope, and they're happy with the 70 times. Or uh, they've come up with some other other solution. But anyway, I hope that helps. That that, that just show how to use the the Barlow that you get with this particular telescope uh, to work with the Skywatcher 607. Just repeat, it's not an ideal solution, but until you can come up with something better, maybe you upgrade to a multi-coated Barlow lens or a fully multi-coated, it will get you by. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.